Namaste, welcome. My name is Shelly and this is gentle yoga. So a gentle practice with movement, with breath, mindfulness, and a nice relaxation at the end. So go ahead and start in a comfortable seat. Whatever that looks like you today, you can sit up on something if you would like. Maybe the legs are crossed or maybe they're out straight. Most importantly, feel your feet to the earth, to the floor, to your cushion, whatever you're sitting on. Ground down through both sit bones. Extend out through the top of your head, your shoulders. Relax down from your ears and gently close your eyes. Take a few breaths here on your own. Use these breaths to let go of your day so far. And kind of set everything else aside and just be with the breath. Just by bringing your attention, your awareness to your breath, it will improve the quality of your breath. And now consciously take in a fuller inhale. Allow your lungs to fill. Notice your rib cage expand. And then as you exhale, empty the lungs, squeeze the air out. Do a couple like that. Inhale completely. Exhale and empty it all out. Inhale, fill up, expand. Exhale all the air out. So continue with this full and deep breath. We'll add a layer of concentration to the breathing. So imagine that you can inhale from your solar plexus around the navel region up to the space between your eyebrows. That's your third eye center. And then as you exhale, imagine the breath returning down to the solar plexus. And continue a few rounds, inhaling up. Third eye center. Exhaling, just the breath returns down. Inhale, pull the air up. Exhale, return it down. Continue like this. practice today, see if you can keep the same breath, even throughout the various postures, the poses, inhaling from the solar plexus up to the space between the eyebrows, exhaling back down. Giving your mind something to concentrate on helps to keep other thoughts and concerns away. We'll start now on our backs. So lie down on your mat. Stretch your legs out long, arms beside you. Interlace your fingers into Kali Mudra with the index fingers extended. Straighten your arms long and then reach back overhead. Take your legs together. Stretch from your fingertips to your toes. This is the Maha stretch, expanding the length of the body. And use your breath. Inhale, stretch long. Exhale, stay here, but relax. Again, inhale, grip with your palms, pull to stretch. Exhale, relax right here. And then once again, inhale, stretch your longest of the three, deepest stretch. 
Exhale and release your arms to your sides. Take your arms up towards the ceiling and just start to circle your wrists. You can go either direction, just starting to warm up the wrists, loosening the joints there. And then circle in the opposite direction. rounds of flexing and extending the wrist. So you go back and forth. Flex and extend. Flex and extend. And then relax your wrist, lower your arms. Hug your right knee into your chest. You can either hold the back of your thigh or take your shin, just whichever one is more comfortable here today. And then move through your right hip a little bit. You might circle your leg. It looks like you're drawing a circle with your knee, but the movement is coming from your hip joint. And then change directions. Hug your knee into your chest, squeeze it a little tighter this time. And then start to circle at your ankle. Again, you can go either direction. And go nice and slow. There is no hurry at all. Make the circles big so you feel a little stretch as you rotate around the ankle joint. And then go the other direction. It's natural for one side to feel a little more comfortable than the other. Maybe the circles are a little smoother one way or the other. If you notice that, no worries. Good observation, but otherwise, no worries. And then we'll do the point and flex. So you point your foot and then flex your foot. Point, flex, point, flex back and forth. Relax your ankle. Lower your right leg to the floor. Bring your left leg in. Again, take your thigh or your shin, either one, and start to move a little through your left hip. Drawing circles on the ceiling with your kneecap, but letting the movement itself come from your hip. That's an important distinction because the hip is happy to circle. The knee, not so much. <laughs> the knee is a hinge, forward and back. Doesn't like to go around. And then reverse. Hug your leg into your chest. Squeeze it a little tighter this time. And start to rotate at your ankle. Nice big circles, but take your time. change direction. And then move into the point and flex, just alternating back and forth. Point your foot away like a ballerina, flex your foot back towards you, away and towards you, back and forth, point and flex. your ankle, lower your left leg down, take a breath right here. Hug both of your knees into your chest. Leave your head down and feel your whole spine to the floor. Concentrate on squeezing the thighs in to compress in the abdominal region. So good for digestion as well as creating length in the back. Squeeze. And then option, as long as your neck is healthy, feeling okay today, you may round your back and pull your nose into your knees, squeezing everything. If that's not right for your neck, leave your head down. If your head is raised, return your head to the floor. And then everyone, plant your feet just behind 
your seat. Walk your heels in close. Come into the moving bridge or the rolling bridge. Turn your palms to the floor beside you. And we'll move with the breath. Inhale, press into your hands and feet. Lift your seat. Peel your spine up off the mat. And then exhale, roll your way back down. Keep going. Move at your own pace so that you can move with your breath. Let your full inhale take you up. So at the end of your inhale, be at your highest point. And then your full exhale to roll you back down. So by the end of your exhale, your spine is to the floor. And just keep going a few more rounds. Take one more. Inhale to roll your way up. And exhale to slowly lower your way back down. After that last round, bring your knees to your chest and rock a little from side to side. Turn your feet to the floor just behind your seat and we'll take a spinal twist. Reach your arms out from your shoulders. Lower your knees to your left. Hold your chin to the ceiling or look over your right shoulder. Work to keep both shoulders down, especially the right shoulder may want to lift. Lower it down, make contact with your mat. center and change sides. Send your knees down to the right. Chin can face the ceiling or turn towards your left shoulder. And then remember your breath. Come back to center. Hug your knees into your chest once again. Just have a nice hug. And then roll to your side. Press yourself up to sit. So find a tall seat once again. Legs can be crossed or they can be out straight. And then just start to nod your head. Very slowly, very gently, a slight lift of your chin, a slight tuck of your chin. Return your chin to center and turn your chin now from shoulder to shoulder, side to side. It looks like you are slowly shaking your head no. Turn your chin to center. Inhale, squeeze your shoulders up by your ears. And as you exhale, let them drop. Inhale, squeeze up. Exhale, sigh out through the mouth. Something about that helps the shoulders to drop lower. <laughs> a few more, inhale up. Exhale with a sigh, shoulders down. We'll do two more, inhale. Exhale. And once again, inhale. Exhale. Find your full deep breath from before, inhaling from the solar plexus to the space between the eyebrows. Exhale, letting the breath return down. Make your way onto hands and knees. If your knees are sensitive, 
Here, you can always put a blanket or a towel or a pillow under your knees just for this part, provides a little extra support. Then come into a tabletop position. Align your shoulders directly over your wrists and then stack your hips over your knees. Tops of your feet can turn down. And we'll do the cow and cat poses, starting with cow. Inhale, lift your head and tail, lower your belly down. Exhale, cat. Tuck your chin and tail, round your spine to the ceiling. Back and forth, inhale, cat. Exhale, cat. Move with your own breath for about three more rounds. for a cow stretch. Exhale, round into your cat. And then come back to neutral position. Thread the needle twist. Reach your left arm to the ceiling. From there, thread your arm through your right arm and leg. Lay the outside of your shoulder to your mat and lower your left cheek. There's some variations to this pose. You can stay right here or extend your right arm forward to get longer in your right side. If you'd like to deepen the twist, wrap your right arm around your low back. You can rest the back of your hands to the small of your back. Reversing out, return your right palm to the floor, press into that hand. Sweep your left arm up and come back to tabletop. I'm going to change sides, reach your right arm up. Thread it through your left arm and leg. Place the outside of your right shoulder down and rest your cheek. Again, the left hand can stay right there or walk forward to extend long through your left side. And then the final option is to send your left arm around your low back. Press the back of your hand to your low back. your palm. Sweep up with your right arm and come back. Tabletop position. And we'll take our first child's pose of practice. Bring your big toes to touch. Send your knees the width of your mat. Reach your seat to your heels. Extend long through your spine. Walk fingertips forward and then lower your forehead. You can come into child's pose at any point during practice today. Anytime you need to rest or if you feel a particular pose is it appropriate for you for any reason, take a child's pose. Return to hands and knees. Coming into our first downward facing dog, be sure the hands are shoulder width apart, press down into the hands. Tuck your toes under, lift your hips high, and shift your weight back. Move your chest towards your thighs, then stretch down the backs of your legs. If you need a little movement to help warm up, you can lift and lower your heels, and gently pulse your chest towards your thighs. There's a way to do downward dog at the wall as well. I think you can see the wall over here. So for any reason being upside down doesn't work out today, walk your hands to the wall, step away until you're able to press your chest down through your arms. 
the exact same pose, but doesn't place you fully inverted and also is less strain on your wrist. So it's always a nice option. Release onto your knees, come into child's pose, rest. downward facing dog. So hands shoulder width apart, press down, tuck your toes, lift your hips, press your hands down and forward to move your chest towards your thighs. Down dog is a back body stretch. Feel long from the base of your spine through your crown and then from your sit bones down the backs of your legs and out through your heels. Moving from here to a standing forward fold, either walk your feet to your hands or come all the way out of your dog, come up to stand at the top of your mat and from there fold over. Think of yourself like a rag doll, bend your knees a lot, drape your torso down over your thighs, hang your arms beside you or second option, grab hold of opposite elbows. Sway from side to side. Rock your weight throughout your feet. Reach your fingertips down towards the floor. Keep bend to your knee. Round up to stand. One vertebrae at a time. Upward facing salute. Plant your feet hips width apart. Take your arms to the ceiling and turn your palms forward. Grow tall, press into both feet, lift up from your waistline, stretch through the top of the head and the fingertips. Option to stay vertical or to arch back to arch, shift your hips forward, lift your chest to the ceiling, and reach back behind you. Return tall to the ceiling, and then one more time, fold over your legs, Uttanasana, standing forward fold. If you'd like this time, grab the backs of your calves, pull your chest to your thighs, and point your head down towards the floor. If you're warmer to this pose this time, you can send your feet higher to the ceiling. Take a little of the bend out of your knees. Just make sure upper and lower half remain connected. Release your grip. Keep some bend to your knees. Roll up to stand. From here, side bend. Interlace your fingers, turn your palms away from you, and stretch up towards the ceiling. Stretch tall, and then go over to your right side. Press down through both feet evenly as you stretch. Reach up to center. And then go over to your left. Extend tall one more time. Over to your right side. Deeper now if you can. Back to center. And to your left.
reach up and release your hands. Pradhanasana. Parallel your feet. Take your hands to heart center into a prayer. Relax the shoulders down. Close your eyes. Return your attention onto your breath. Inhale from the solar plexus to the space between the eyebrows. Exhale, return the breath down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Once more, inhale the breath up. Exhaling to the solar plexus. Open your eyes. Step your feet wide. We do a couple of standing poses today. We'll start with a warrior two, and we're gonna start with the left foot first. So you'll turn your left toes, I was gonna to say to this wall, but I'm not sure how you are oriented at home, but I think you get the idea. The toes go this way. <laughs> Back foot is angled down. Reach your arms so they're parallel to the floor. Bend your front knee. Go for a 90 degree bend in this knee, directly over ankle, arms parallel to the floor. Look over your front fingertip. And then where's your attention? Again, on the breath, inhaling up, exhaling down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale, straighten your front leg. Relax your arms for a moment, let them rest. Trikonasana, triangle. Front leg will stay straight. Reach your arms out just like they were in the previous pose. Bump your hips back as you reach forward. Send your left hand to your leg. Reach your right arm straight up to the ceiling. Keep your legs strong. Press into your feet and pull your legs towards each other. Stack your right shoulder over your left so the top shoulder has to go back. Look wherever works for your neck today. It could be up. It could be to the side. And take a couple breaths. Press into your feet, rise to stand. Relax your arms. Parallel your feet once again. And we'll do the other side. So right toes will turn forward. Back foot's at an angle so you can press in the outer edge of your foot. Warrior two. Send your arms out from your shoulders and then bend your front knee. You can go for that 90 degree bend over your knee. You want your knee over your ankle. Avoid it going beyond your toe. If that's happening, widen your stance. Arms parallel, look over your front fingertips. And return your attention to your breath. Relax your arms, straighten your front leg. Setting up for triangle. Reach your arms out from your sides. Front leg stays straight. Reach over your toes. You can't go any further. Lower your right arm down. Reach your left arm high. And again, look to your top hand or stay looking to the side. Be kind to your neck today. Feel length along both sides of your rib cage. So extend out through your crown. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale and come up. Parallel your feet once again. Bring your hands onto your low back. Lift your chest high and then arch back. So a wide leg standing back bend this time. Send your hips forward. Keep extending. 
extending through your spine, getting longer, taller as you go back. Hands can stay where they started, supporting your low back, or start to walk down the glutes or thighs. Up to you how far you go. Slowly, let your head be the last part to lift. Pause at the top. And then fold forward, fold at your hips. Keep your spine long on your way down. Options to grab hold of the outside of your legs or feet, or to work your hands to the floor between your feet. Fingertips come down first, and then the backs of the fingers eventually palm. Bring your weight forward slightly in your feet so it's less in your heels. Lift through your sit bones, and point your head to the floor. Let your neck be long. Going to take a twist from here. Reach your crown forward and walk your hands with you. So you're in a bit of a halfway lift. Take your left hand under your nose, twist open to your right side. If your left hand, your bottom hand, doesn't quite reach the floor, you can use any prop. So if you have a yoga block, that works, but it could be anything. You get a blanket, a cushion, a pillow, a thick book. And then we'll switch, come to center, right hand under your nose, twist to your left. Come through the center one last time, fold over your legs, stay for a good breath. Bend your knees a little bit. Make your way to stand. And walk the feet together. Shake out your legs. And then practice a couple of balance poses from here. Balance poses are good for developing concentration. And balance is a skill like anything else. And the more you practice, the more you improve. That said, feel free to move near a wall. We're gonna start with traditional tree pose. So stand on your left foot, spread your toes, keep a slight bend in your left knee. That way your muscles are engaged. Bring your right foot inside. You can keep the toe down like a kickstand or come up to your ankle or calf. You can also place the foot above the thigh. Squeeze your leg and your foot to one another. If you have a hand to the wall, just do fingertips. Test yourself every now and then. Take the fingers away. The wall's still there if you need it. And if you can, hands come to heart center. They can stay here or float up overhead. Gracefully as if you are moving through water. Come down out of your pose. Shake out the leg. And other side. So if you're at a wall, you may need to flip around so now your right hand can be by the wall. You can spread your toes, seal your foot to the floor. Keep a slight bend in the standing knee. Take your tree pose. Toes can kick stand to the floor. You can come to your calf or up to your thigh. Press everything in, foot and leg together, hands together. Staying here or floating your hands overhead.
break into pose. Shake out your leg. The next is a just different variation of tree pose. So you stand on your left leg once again. For this one, I'll turn to the side just so you can see what's going on behind. You stand on your left foot. Again, spread your toes, seal your foot to the floor, keep a little bend in that knee. This time the right leg's gonna come behind you and there's levels, options here. The first is to keep your right toes down or to start to lift those toes. Maybe the knee bends at 90 degrees. If you have loose pant legs, you can grab a pant leg. If you're able to grab the foot, grab the foot, bend your elbow, hug your heel towards your seat. And then left hand, fingertips on the wall or to heart center. One more option, left hand all the way up Turn your palm forward. Squeezing in with this pose as well. It looks a little different. This time your knees are squeezing to one another. Slowly. Release, shake out your leg. And then other side. So you'll stand on your right foot. Bring your left leg behind. Whatever level you're at today, toe down. Maybe toe is just off the floor. Knee to 90. Grab a pant leg or grab the foot. If you have the foot, bend the elbow, squeeze the heel to your seat. You can, right hand to heart center, or option to send your arm up. So arm is up, turn your palm forward. Tanasana. So remember this pose is for your back to lengthen your spine. Start out with a good bend in your knees and then fold so your abdomen is to your thighs. You can hold your calves, your ankles, or your feet. Look to your own legs. If that's not quite enough for you, walk your heels forward. Just make sure that again your abdomen and your thighs remain connected. Turn your attention to your breath. Inhaling, drawing the breath up to the forehead. Exhaling, returning the breath down. both arms. Stretch up to the ceiling. Pull your hands behind you. Face your fingertips away. You can be on fingertips or palms. And then squeeze your shoulder blades together. Lift your chest. Lift your chin. If it's available, walk your fingertips a little further away. Just getting a chest and shoulder stretch. Walk yourself up slow, and then we'll do Janu Shirshasana. Fold your right foot inside of your left leg. If that doesn't work for your knee today, leave the leg straight and send it off to the side. And focus on folding over the left leg. Reach up, turn, and fold over. Important here to maintain upper and lower body contact. So again, bend your knee.
your arms out beyond your foot, stretch up, lower your hands and change your legs. Reach up tall, turn slightly to your right so you can fold down directly over that leg. Bend your knee as much as you need, look to your own leg. We'll come up, reach through both arms, stretch, lower your arms, take your legs out in front of you. We'll do the cradle pose. Grab onto your right foot, bend your knee, and just swing the leg a few times, open and close. Bring your lower leg in towards your chest. You can come up under your calf holding here, or if it's available, foot and knee to the elbows. Important to bring your leg to your chest rather than your chest to your leg. You wanna sit up tall and then rock a little side to side. That's why it's called cradle. We're cradling our leg baby. <laughs> Flex this foot, sit tall. and then release your right leg long. Grab the outside of your left foot. Bend the knee and just rock the leg a few times. Open and close. Bring the lower leg in towards your chest where you can come up under or you can come around. The main thing is to hold the leg stable. Flex this foot, sit up tall, and then rock. Release the left leg down. And we'll do one more forward fold, Tarasana star pose. Bring the soles of your feet together, butterfly your knees apart. Leave space between your heels and your thighs. So when you look down, you see the shape of a diamond or a square. Take your hands to your toes. Pull your heart forward and then fold over. If it's available, walk your elbows forward as you fold. And again, breathe. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. Inhale the breath up, exhale breath down. Come up, squeeze your knees in together, wrap your forearms around your shin and pull your chest to your thighs, tuck your chin, squeeze everything in. Relax and come onto your abdomen. So now we'll do a series of backbending poses. And backbends help to strengthen the back side of the body while opening the front. That's the opposite of what we generally do in our regular life. So backbends are amazing, important poses. We'll start with the sphinx pose. Come onto your forearm your legs behind you and tops of the feet down. Bend your elbows to 90 degrees. Hang your head for a moment and just shake out your head. Keep your neck both long and loose now as you begin to look across the floor and up the wall. Pull your heart forward between your arms and become really still just like the Sphinx statue. No movement other than the breath.
release, relax your head down to your mat. Take a couple breaths. And turn your chin to the center. This time place your hands under your shoulders for a low cobra. Legs are just like they were, together and down. Squeeze your elbows to your ribs, roll your shoulders on your back, and lift your chest without using your arms. See if you can lift your hands. If the hands come up and you still have your chest away from the floor, that means your back is doing all of the work. This pose strengthens the back muscles, helps improve posture. And then release, turn your head to the side, rest. your low cobra, hands under your shoulders, elbows in, lift your chest. This time keep your hands down, don't put too much weight there, but they can be there for support. You're going to add a neck stretch. Turn and look to your right. Keep lifting the chest. Roll your chin to your chest, look to the left. Look to center. And now look to the left. Roll your chin to your chest, look to the right. Look to center, release. Turn your head to one side and rest. Bring your chin to center for locust. Send your arms behind you, face your palms to the ceiling. Inhale, lift your head, chest, arms, and your legs. Pose strengthens the whole back side of the body. Use your glutes to lift your legs. Use your hamstrings to lift your legs. Pull back with your arms, chest high. Lower down, rest. And then come into a child's pose. Press your seat back to your heels. Bring your forehead down and rest. in and come around to sit. And take a spinal twist. Start with both legs forward and then place your right foot either inside your left knee or outside your knee. If outside makes you feel like you're tipping over, bring it to the inside so you're more balanced. Take your right hand behind you, cross your left arm over and look over your right shoulder, see behind you. Inhale, grow your spine taller. Exhale, twist a bit further. Do that with each breath. Inhale up. Exhale, twist. One more breath, inhale up. Exhale, twist in and out more. And then come forward, change your legs. So again, left foot can be inside or it can cross to the outside. Bring your left hand behind you close. Reach your right arm over. Twist through your spine, look over your left shoulder. And use your breath. Inhale, twist. Exhale, twist. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, turn. One more, inhale, tall. Exhale, tall. Release, come down onto your back. Scoop forward as you need. Bridge pose, bend your knees, set your feet to the floor. Turn your palms down beside you, inhale, Press up. Stay up this time and continue to breathe. 
and tuck your shoulders under you further. Take any arm variation you know. They can remain long or you can clasp hands underneath. Press into both feet evenly, level out your hips. Move your chest in the direction of your chin. Slowly lower down. Hug your knees in, rock from side to side. to the floor. Cross your right ankle over your left knee. So your foot will be just beyond your left knee. You can flex that foot. You can work from right here. Open your right knee away from you. If you could use a little deeper variation, bring your legs towards you. Interlace your fingers behind your left thigh. You have to send the right hand through the two legs. In this variation, draw your left leg in, open your right knee out. Keep your breath flowing steady, smooth. One more full deep breath. Release down, unwind, and switch. Left foot comes across, flex that ankle. Remember, you can work from right here, pressing the left knee away. Or the next variation, bring both legs towards you, interlace your fingers behind the right thigh. In this variation, draw your right knee in, Continue to open your left knee out. Coming out slow, uncross your legs. And then just like you did before, bring your right foot across. I'm gonna take a variation of the spinal twist. So arms out from your sides, lower your legs to the left. So your right foot may hit the floor. If it doesn't, that's okay. And then turn to look towards your right shoulder. all up through center, unwind, and then switch. Send your left foot across, lower your legs to your right, and you can look towards your left. Close your eyes. everything up through the center unwind and hug your knees to your chest one more time squeeze everything in engage every muscle and then relax for shavasana lay on your back separate your legs send your arms out from your sides and turn your palms up close the eyes Bring all of your attention into your feet. Suggest to the feet to relax, release, and let go. Relax at the legs. 
releasing all tension. The hips. Relax down the hands. arms, and the shoulders completely relax. Feel the back side of the body heavy, your weight sinking down beneath you, supportive. Relax down the abdomen, soft. Relax the chest, no tension, soft. And the neck, back of the head, the top of the head, and relaxing your face. Release your jaw. The temples and forehead. Let your eyebrows gently separate. And the eyelids now completely relax. Rest now in total relaxation. No thoughts, no sensations. Leave the breath by itself. Leave the body by itself. Come out of relaxation. Feel
feel your breath once again. And begin to feel the physical body. Take light movements, gentle stretches to reawaken. When you're ready, send both arms overhead. Bend your knees and turn onto your side. Stay there for a breath. And press your way up to a comfortable seat. Leave the eyes closed and lengthen out through the spine. And one more time, return your attention to your breath. Inhale from the solar plexus up to the third eye center between the eyebrows. Exhale, return the breath down. Inhale, draw it up. Exhale, down. And one more time. Inhale, third eye. Exhale, the breath down. Breathe normally once again. Take your hands to heart center. We'll close with Om Shanti Shanti Shantihi. Breathe in. Om Shanti Shanti Shantihi. Om peace, peace, peace. Have a peaceful day and week. Thank you for being here, for sharing your practice. My teacher, Sri Dharma Mitra, says, we are joints a little bit every day. And he is almost 81 years old and the picture of health. <laughs> so I think he knows a little what he's talking about. We can all strive to be so healthy when we are 81 years old. <laughs> but yoga is the way. Thank you again. Join us the rest of the week, noon, for more practice. Namaste.